Okay. Back up online. I don't know what's going on there. My OBS decided to drop in and... I don't know if it's my internet or... Something in between me and YouTube. I don't know. Revelio. But we're back now, so... We'll just go with it. Everything seems fine for the moment. So what is up with this? Is this something I can get to? Glaciers. Nope. Revelio. I can't go back there. Edgar Adley. Is there something I can help you with, Mr... Adley? Edgar Adley? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Alas, Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Had I known he wanted to procure venom from a living acromantula. Oh, poor <laughs> Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear about your friend. Oh, thank you. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, Milo's name for the acromantula. He did have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> in fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch. So that his daughter would have something to remember him by, but I... I fled. Why would someone risk their life for spider venom? As a potion ingredient, acromantula venom is incredibly valuable. In large part because it is... As Paul Milo has proven, impossible to get from a live acromantula. If I have time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the Acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Please, forget I said anything. <laughs> Is he a vendor? I guess not. Now, where could oh, the Acromantula a... cave be? Spider parts. Seems someone has been collecting Acromantula parts for profit. Lucrative, perhaps, if one is willing to risk one's life to obtain the required inventory. Yeah, well, I think we could do it. We can take them on. We've taken lots of... I think I've probably taken that spider on before. It's one of the bigger ones. In different uh, places. Rebellion. They don't have a vendor here? Bummer. Collection. Short stairs. Where's that demi guys? I'm here for a demi, guys. There's two locks over there. I wonder what rank. Big old chest. Navigator scarf. Roger that. Looks like this house is clear. Revelio. I see big chest on the. Other side of that wall, I see maybe two locks over there. There's one of those uh, demi guys. I don't know. Let's grab this chest, I guess, before we forget. No need for sleeping draft in there. What's this one over here? Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Aha! That was it. Where would this one be? No! 
Oh, level three. Gar. Darn, those locks are in the same place. Well, there's possibly a demi guys behind those level three locks. Just maybe. Or it might just be that collector's chest. There's a big fat chest there. Yo. Where's the legendary chest? We'll do it legitly. Oh, another legendary hat, darn it. Alright, time to save scum. <laughs> Let's see where our save our auto save was. <clears throat> oh, 209. 208 right before it. Let's see. Must be when I looted the collector's chest where I blew those rocks up. I'm guessing that's where the save is going to be. In the backyard here. By the scarecrow. Oh. Oh, it saved here for some reason. Huh. Alright. That works. That's a good enough save. Hand item. Yeah, cool. I don't think that's a duplicate. That's what? So I now have possible hand upgrade, which would be real nice. Let's see the hat. I think I had a hat one. Yeah, I already had a hat. Well, two hats. So that's not going to be anything. It's always legendary. That's an upgrade. The other ones just don't roll high enough. What was a whatever that is, scarf. Is that superb? Extraordinary. It's extraordinary. Excuse moi. <clears throat> Fun little throat gurgle. Gurgle. Abscond encounter. Level 30 quest. Alright. That's like the highest level quest I've seen. I really want to find these moons. Come on. I'm like... I'm right there. Right there and I can... I'm just tired of not being able to open these level 3 locks. Huh. Yo, where the cabbages at? The cabbages. What is this place? Rebellion. Uh, oh wait, was I here already? I might have been. I think I was. Oh, I see the vendor now. How'd I miss him? Okay. Ooh, what's on the written on here? That's some kind of rune. Looks like oh crud. That was an accident. I heard someone go, ah! I probably heard someone's ears outside. Has I heard NPCs? I gotta test that. Like just randos out here. Like, hey gals. Hey gals, how you doing? Nope. Oh now you wanna be a vendor. Could you please remind me what you needed help with? Wait, what? My friend Milo and I went to an Acromantula's. It didn't go well. I'm hoping someone can... Re oh, I can't unlock him as a vendor, I guess, until I help his buddy. Maybe he sells good stuff then, like that one guy. I did do a quest for that guy, maybe... But I could use him as a vendor before I completed the quest, so... It's not something like... Do the quest and... Wait, did I just jump in here for the... Again. Do all they look the same or is am I actually Ah, you look none the worse for wear. I take it you decided against entering the absconders cave then. You told me not to. I said forget you said anything. Where is that cave anyway? <sighs> North Ford. Well, 
I need the demi guys here too. So where else could it be here? Because if not, I'll go over there to Upper Hogsfield before I go to the spider cave thing. I'm not afraid of no spider. I just want some moons. Oh, maybe it's in here. That'd be nice. That'd be real nice. Got him. Come on, moons. Give me your moon. What do we have here? Yes. Rebellion. You can see it. He always sees it through walls and stuff, but it might be upstairs then. He's like, what do we have here? I can sense you, demi guys. There it is. He saw it through the floor again. Nice. Nice. So, I guess it's one more then, because that's going to be number 12. Right now, Demi guys. And then we need 13. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, let's now go up to Upper Hogsfield. Hopefully, that one's available. Because, yeah. And one more collection chest. Exciting. Exciting to finally finish that. It's kind of like when I was excited about the 16 tokens for the for the common room chest. And it gave you one very cool looking robe, I'll say, but I don't have the rest of an outfit for it. It's just like one cool robe. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Alright. Let's double check vendors. Now that I've realized they could sell. Phoenix feathers and such. An Ashwinder. No, nope, she doesn't. I will see him again. He's dead. I lied. She thinks he's alive. Like, maybe I'll I see him again. No, I'm sorry. It gives her hope, right? But that's, I guess that's bad. False hope. I should sell these. I'm not going to be using them. And they still sell for 150 Save those because they're potentially upgrades. Not always 100%. Thank you for passing through. Revelio. Thank you for. This guy's all always jamming. I picked up this violin in Diagon Alley. Complex bit of enchantment. Lovely sound. Lumos. He's always talking about, oh, I got so much money in my hat, I can buy a new instrument and go on tour. <laughs> oh. All right, Timmy, guys. Where are you? Would. Have I been here? Yeah, yeah, I've been here. I wonder if I'm picking up copies of that. Oh, I didn't have this one yet. The thistle and the badge. How on thistle what reflections of a former R. <clears throat> Did we sometimes put away the wrong person? It's possible. Oh, God. Is that an acceptable risk when it comes to preserving the well-being of the wizarding world at large? I like to think so. <laughs> yeah, innocent people moldering away in Azkaban like uh, that Anne girl. My 
my bluebells died. Those plants are just like a pet. Oh, it's her house elf. Hello, house elf. I thought that was a statue at first. Well, I guess I read that one already. Yeah, this is that chick that... I wonder why she's not saying hi to me or whatever. I thought we were buds. She took me to Azkaban. Oh yeah, I've seen that already. I hope that's not duplicating in my my stash or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I guess they're not, because I have them down here somewhere, like. Thistle and the badge. Oh, there's that Doug Bug one. It's the Thistle and the badge. That's when I first picked them up back here. <clears throat> Alphabetically, it actually puts them in order, so. Like, I, I, I missed the last one of this one. A lot of good lore up in here. Hmm. Final entry in a diary. <sighs> Come on, where is this Demi guys? Make sure it's still here, right? Oh, wait, that's where I need to go. Here. Yeah, just one demiguy statue here. So, it's either available or behind a level 3 lock. So we're going to find it if not. If it's not behind the lock. It's funny, this quest I'm doing is going to allow me to open level 3 locks. So it stinks that some of them are hidden behind level 3 locks. Revelio. Ooh, level 1. I think that's it right there. Alohomora. Come on, buddy. I can see it through the wall. I hope that's what it is and not a bag or something. It looked like the right color. Oh yeah, a bag would be yellow because I could loot it. Pretty sure these are blue. Mine now, Demi guys. Yes. Update quest. Or do I still need one more? Oh, they're there. Wait. Did I mess up? Is it 16? No, it should be 13. 13, yes. So, we're gonna get that. For sure. To the faculty tower. It was good times. Finally. Finally. It's 
so annoying when um <clears throat> Windows Update breaks things. Because I'm pretty sure I had a Windows Update last night. Or we started at like 5 in the morning today. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguise statues? I don't know why they give you a chance to lie here. I actually have some moons for you. Dear me, you have been busy. Incredible, thank you. You're ready for the final Alahamora lesson. Yes. With this knowledge, no lock shall ever stand in your way. You have done all I asked. I only wish I knew who put those statues everywhere in the first place. <sighs> Alas. If you do find more, please feel free to remove them. You'll be doing your caretaker a huge service. And if I ever find out who the bully is behind this cruel trick, I shall let you know. Thank you <laughs> once again for your assistance and tenacity. Now that you've mastered Alahamora, no lock is unbreakable. Uh, but do feel free to keep finding Demigai's statues and removing those moons. I suspect you are the one who has been interfering with a rather oh. personal matter. Oh. The Demigai's statues and the moons contained therein were placed as they were for good reason. You should not meddle in the personal affairs of others. Oh. I don't think Mr. Pemberton meant to use his own stationery. He knows something about those demiguise moons. He's in Hogsmeade, apparently. Perhaps what I should the... pay him a visit. That's weird. Yeah, let's go find out the truth behind these. Change of plans. We're not gonna go to that dreaded spider cave yet. That dreadful spider cave also. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Why would anyone care enough to remove my demigai statues? Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigai statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am. At the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl. On your stationery. <clears throat> ah. Well... Fitting Moon would enlist a student, too cowardly to do it himself, <laughs> hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully, gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much, even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker.
He is a bit much for a caretaker, but he means well, and he's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that bogart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a bogart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Nice. I'll talk to Moon again. <clears throat> I like being the responsible party. <laughs> These, like, meddling adults. Hmm. I got a house right there that I can open up a level three lock. I should ask this guy to give me all the moons he put out. I wonder if you give him the moon still. Hello, Hamor. <sighs> Chewing this in the mic here. Revelio. I want to make sure I get a slot that I don't have already, so that's good. Neck is good. I don't have to save coming. Revelio. Alright, feels good, man. I got all those damn moons. So there's like a whole street full of level 3 locks here, if I remember correctly. We're going to have to find it. I remember there was one street that was all like level twos. And now I'm amazing enough to do level threes. If I could find them. Might be farther down by uh Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. And the other guy. Like by Tomes and Scrolls, maybe, are on the way there. Rebellio. I see a whole line of them. What is all this right here? I mean, that's a big chest, too. Oh, is that another legendary chest? It is. I don't want to die, though. Oof. <sighs> Kidnapped cabbage, I remember that a couple of days ago. That's another hand. I already got one of those. 
some good that works I don't have an outfit one yet okay now Revelio. hey it's you quick 500 gold chest Just thinks he's a dog. A doggy. Level three, all right. Aloha more. <clears throat> box Revenio. the bag or something up there high society fedora ooh collection landscape paintings wonderful Feels good. Love these lot busting these locks. It's probably all level three because I think I got all the, the twos and oh, I lied. Hello, Hamora. Guys, another one. I'll be darn. Where's he at upstairs? And he only says mine now. It's nighttime, so I guess it is nighttime technically. Still, yes. I hope I get some kind of reward for getting all these extra demi guys. <clears throat> See somewhere. <clears throat> it's a flu powder. Uh, <laughs> big jumps. Oh, it was right there. I was just over here, I think. That's only level two. Hello, Hamora. Lock skills now. I'm blowing all the locks off. Oh, sweet. We got another 500 gold. I'll never see me coming. Sweet. Revenio. Absolute good, brilliant. Crunch. Oh, oh, can't go that way. <clears throat> I think I heard another chest. Just go, whoa, whoa. Well, something else, actually. What the heck? Good 
Something going on there. Revelio. Can bring us. Oof. Can I go through this door, please? Revelio. Do you think Barda would do it? Oh, wrong one. Bombarda. Oh, I'm sure that was it. Darn. Huh, I don't know. Revelio. Another field page? Nobody wants that. Oh. Hmm. Revelio. Good kitty kitty. Wow, wow. There's Hello, level three. Has a rusty lock. Rebellion. Hmm. Hmm. -hmm. All that for that, eh? I think there was... Wasn't there another? Oh, there's a basement too. Let's check that out. What the heck? Revelio. Oh wait, no, I was in here already. <laughs> this is the downstairs. So what is this? Is that outside? On the back of the house? I guess? Oh, nice. It's another eyeball. Let's just test this. Can we do it like right in front of him and be cool? Like... Hey, yeah, still can't. That's why I didn't get those at first, because I was trying everything in front of him, even going stealth, but. <clears throat> gotta sneak up on him. Okay, so, where are we at money wise? Back to 5k already. Nice. We're doing good. So, we got our hat. Got our gloves, hopefully. Not those. Ooh, got our outfit. We don't have a robe right now. And we do have a scarf. Okay. Um, okay, let's just head back to... Hogwarts, because we need to talk to Moon. We need a, an ID, some items. I'll check the uh, the offspring and my vivariums, and then we'll push some more main quests. Take things. You should be proud of all the potions. You Diana. 
any cabbages and mandrix, apparently. Boom, 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 boom. Some random stuff here, but Denny Lee's fluxweed. Wonderful. I still need one cabbage. So it's two, two, two. So those are fertilized, and ready to roll, for the most part. <clears throat> Let me throw some fertilizer on them. So I have twelve. Is that? Well, I guess I like twelve every visit. So that's exactly what I need if I use them all up. And mandrakes just seems so worthless to me so far. I remember them taking like maybe 50 damage as they're screaming and doing some damage to them. I used, I thought I used a uh, tentacular or whatever it's called. Huh. All right, down there. Let's check the uh, breeding pens. <clears throat> Alright, money, money, money. Let's see how, how cute this little guy is. He's so little. <laughs> hey, little guy. Alright. <clears throat> Alrighty. Oops, hold on. Alright, don't look now. I'm gonna go sell you. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. You're out of there. So I really need... Gosh darn measles. Let's see here. Hey, buddy. Sorry, bud. We're fresh out of brushes. Okay. No! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that! Settle yourself. <laughs> I mean you no harm. Let's put a brush down, I'm not even thinking right. <sighs> You're back, back out you go. This is what I meant. Just because you're so cute. Yeah, I'll take that while I got it. <clears throat> I'll check the other babies. Oh yeah, we gotta things. upgrade our gear. Proud of all the potions you brewed. Ooh, one upgrade out of those four. That was a good attempt though. I had one of every slot, but I'll see how good the hat is. <clears throat> one hundo. Nice. Finally hit that hundred. Dun, 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 dun. In that slot, I had damage all spells, so let's do that. <clears throat> Man, there's lots of these now. Upgraded. I don't remember if I have, hopefully I got the tier three. Oh cool, I got three of them right now. I think it's time to go back and check to make sure. We'll sell this stuff and see if they got more grab horn 
you know, whatever. The pieces. <clears throat> and Phoenix Feather. Darn it. Let's see. I have any... Let's talk to Moon first. Uh, where was that? South? Yeah. South Faculty Tower. I'm starting to memorize this crap. About... What is it? About 75 hours in the game or something? Like, shush. Oh, I got this hat on. I should have made it, uh... Made it cool. I'll never get my lucky charms. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the Demi Guy statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, I might have known. Pigtails Piers. Pigtails Piers. <laughs> I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all. Clever, clever man. Huh? I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. <laughs> Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. Is the Moon gonna give anything for collecting him? Like the Man Behind the Moons. Thank Solved. Thank you for your persistence and cleverness. I confronted Piers about it and he well, that was fast. confessed straight away. <laughs> Sounds like he's just reading off a page or something. Like, what? Uh. All right, all right, all right. Duncan owes his We're all set. Nice. We got everything. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Dun, 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 dun. Let's save, like, just in case something crazy goes wrong with the saves. And I like to have the saves saved. So. 73 hours. We've hit the 73rd hour. Well, yeah. So, alright. Alrighty then. Let's see how much of the stuff we got left. Like, uh. All kinds of stuff. 50 out of 67. Oh, different enemies. So, I got a couple enemies to still discover. Those things are nutty. Great spined. The stone back. Okay, while well, recovering from their attack lunge. So right after they lunge, I could use a force spell to flip them or force them around. Okay. Well, I gotta read. I've never read these for their weaknesses. I usually just brute force everything, but this would be be nice to know. So these are all the same weakness and stuff. Okay. Ashwinder Duelist. Back to back attacks. Oh no. Oh, the reductor curse can't be blocked by charms. But interrupting that cast the severing. Okay, we'll spin them to the point of losing control and hitting one of their own gang. Oh, neat. So I'll slice them up with the uh, Defendo or whatever. They don't even know shield charms. Oh, man. Weak-ass mage. 
<clears throat> Interrupting Reductor Curse with a Banish Charm. Cause them to lose control of their spell cast and hit one of their own gang. Banishing Charm, what is that? what would that be an example of? I don't know exactly. Maybe like a... Uh... Well, shoot, I don't know, like Banish? I mean, not Banish. Like Levitate and... Stop, like moment, Memento, whatever. Uh... These have like bolts I can take somehow. A stunning spell is often enough to knock them totally unconscious, but cleverness and skill are required to successfully cast it at them. Since they prefer to avoid the heart of the battle, pulling them close to Accio is an effective way to disrupt their plans. They warm up their Expulso Curse, levitating them with Levoso, Levioso will cause them to lose control and hit one of their own gang. It sounds like you can make them hit each other a lot. I, I should have been reading these. Poacher Tracker. Oh, so they don't even have shield charms. These Animagus. Magus. Animagus. Yeah, transformation can force them back into human. Those are the guys that have that that whirlwind fire thing or whatever. I didn't do that yet, but I learned that disarming them makes them hit themselves with their spell. <clears throat> oh my, what's this? Boy video. Time out.
all right, all right. All kinds of spiders, holy crap. Oh, yeah, how do we get their head stuck in the ground? Oh. <clears throat> the Acromantula. Not technically a spider, the beast appears and behaves like other magical architects. <laughs> what the heck? Dodge away, strike. The heck? Oh, hey, thanks. from exploring. Oh, nice. I can actually have the living portraits in my my base. Yeah, here's all this stuff. Here's a big grab horn. We need to get these unlocked. Yeah, let's do this. Let's get, let's get going. Let's get going. What are we doing here? Oh, yeah. I just went to Moon. Finish all his garbage. Uh, oh, yeah. We need to go to... <sighs> the map chamber and talk with uh, the third lady. We'll get to the location of the third trial and see where that goes after that. I'm approaching the end of the quest chain for the story, but I'm like 75% at least, I think, probably. Or right around 75%, I guess. I think, like, I don't know for sure, but... Why can't I do my... Welcome back. I just don't have the light. I got bombarded right now. <sighs> Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. 
They've built drills to help with their search. Ah, <sighs> most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, <clears throat> the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. Hey. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. <laughs> I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, nope. this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Brilliant. Sweet. Give me lots of XP. Go, go, go. Okay, or just give me zero. I mean, Come on. Is that a bug? You think, like, I can't do my teleport all the time, like, my, my quick roll thing. Speak with Professor Fig in his office. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Yeah, he can help me out. He probably has an idea. Oh, darn. Where was... Was in the south wing as well? No. The Great Hall? The Bell Tower wing? No. Yeah. He happened to be in the astronomy wing. Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. That's <laughs> the bathroom. Mm. Ah. Mm. Don't forget to check the turrets. This is, uh, okay. Very nice. Stuff going on over here. Oh, the chest here. It's a I lot going on. Yeah, I just realized I never really explored here. I always went straight to his room. Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. 
Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Hmm. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password oh, to get past the There's a moon right gargoyle. there. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Demigod will he statue. even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A Polyjuice Potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. does it? So how do you, you still sound the same, have Polyjuice though, Potion in to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, <laughs> time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Oh. Oh, God. They already took some of his DNA and shit. Like... Oh. 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 Hmm. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. <clears throat> She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Wait. I guess. I was like, what's going on here? Oh, can I do wait right now? Like... Fuck, I just have to remember that there's a demiguy statue in Fig's classroom. Or Fig's office, actually, but. Behind his classroom. I can't believe I didn't notice that before. I'm always watched for him now, though. I saw it in the cutscene. <laughs> Freaking, look at us. That's funny. Okay, so we're going to Kagawa. How do we get out of this place? Is that a moth? Where does that bastard go? Oh, I can't even access my spells right now. I gotta remember outside of Figs, there's also... A moment of your time, please. Professor, Shut. I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. <laughs> I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. <laughs> a student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> well, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. <laughs> That's pretty good. Wait. Oh, this is a tan. How have I 
been here before? Yeah, I have. <clears throat> this is fun. <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Let's take our time. Maybe we'll run into more people, like... If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. <laughs> oh, I can't I can't even use Revelia right now. The headmaster approaching. Gareth. Uh, Mr. Weasley. What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. <laughs> I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, uh, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. <laughs> Well, there's one for my diary. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I'm starting to see Christmas decorations now. You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. Slow coach! Slow coach! Professor Black, how are you, sir? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, <laughs> I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. <laughs> I'm chewing with your mouth open. Damn it. Where are your manners? I'm like cut off that dialogue. Professor, a word? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We, we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes, sir. Good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I. parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. <laughs> and I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. <laughs> what did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? I um, haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside.
Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children! Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess, I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... Well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fee. I can never understand that now. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Wonderful job Scrope is doing. Scrope! Oh, a greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family Motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of and course. What's that? <laughs> I, uh... Master does remember it. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, toujours pur. Ha! Ah, thank you. Never speak of this toujours conversation pour. with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Uh. <laughs> the Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get a... Ahem! Attention, students! I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the dignified banners of Hufflepuff. I shall be taking no questions at this time. Uh. 
Potion's wearing off, like... Eesh. Hope it at least lasts as long as... What I needed. Oh, made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. <laughs> now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Polyjuice plot. Dun 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 Come on, pop up the quest. There it is. Access the headmaster's office. Brilliant. Find Professor Fitzgerald's portrait. Okay. Wait, that's in his office, I guess? Yeah. I guess so. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. <sighs> and away we go. What's this? Is it making like a new case, staircase for me? I think they're cooler in the game than they are in the movie. In the movie, they just kind of like rotate. They don't like magically appear like this. Well, I've only seen the second movie, so... First and second. So I guess I don't know if it changed later. I might watch a third one today. This damn game, like... I went from not caring about knowing anything about Harry Potter to being interested in the lore now because of this game. How nice to see you, my young friend. If you make a good RPG out of anything, I think <laughs> I'll start being interested in it. So I guess Fig has got Professor Black at the uh, over at Hogsmeade. So let's hope. Uh, like, how am I supposed to get in there without? Like, isn't the? Uh, Hello, there was something about his office that it wouldn't let anybody buy unless it was Professor Fig or, or Professor Black. Like, last time I was there messing around. So, now that I'm not looking like him anymore, how's that supposed to work? The password still works, I guess? Like, even if I'm not Professor Black? I mean, it's weird. Rebellion. Hey, a neck item. Trifecta. It's like down there, I guess. It looks like a big chest. Like a legendary chest. I guess that's everything. What locks am I seeing? Huh. Level three. Alohomora. Rebellion. What the heck is that? Huh. 
Oh, darling sister. G, who's G? So is this Weasley's office? Ugh. Revelio. Aha. Okay. Which one do I need? What piece do I need? Thirty-three. That's better than thirty-four. See, some legendaries roll lower. And that's a crap version. That's a good thirty-three version. So one hundo. So I definitely. I think the hat's okay, obviously. That one is not an upgrade. It's 32. 34. 99. <clears throat> 34. 32. 33. 34. So the biggest upgrade could be an outfit. Another head item. <sighs> Safe scum. What a scummy practice. I haven't done it a lot, but right now I kind of want to set up for the last the last trial. I need an outfit. Uh, back item. Is that okay, too? It might be. That's 33. Oh, well, we'll just go with that. I don't want to keep doing that. We'll be good. Rebellion. Good shape. Mmm, yum. Tasty. Okay. Onward. I have no idea how it's going to work. So I swear. The gargoyle or whatever is in there it said it has to be Professor Black. That he the gargoyle. In. That's where I need to speak the password. <clears throat> Toujours pure. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Rebellion. Oh. 
sleeping portraits. Susan. <laughs> hmm. Oh, another one, eh? Revelio. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, it's the sorting hat. The sorting hat. This enchanted hat was created by the four founders of Hogwarts as the means by which students would be placed into one of the four school houses. Skilled at the... Skilled at legitimacy, the sorting hat can see into the wearer's head, allowing it to determine their thoughts and abilities. Oh, I'm darn. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. <laughs> you may recognize some elements of it, as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Drink some of his tea. What is all this? Rebellion. Yeah, I imagine there's. Ooh, what do we have here? Alohomora. I'm glad I got my rank three before. I had a feeling there might be some more rank three locks on the way through things. Nice. What a guess. Oh, more sleeping portraits. Perhaps this is the nap room. <laughs> what the? Does he live here? <clears throat> Dear Phineas. Sirius and Phineas, so Sirius Black is his son. His family doesn't even seem to like him, it seems. So that can't be the same Sirius Black from the movies, because this is like hundreds of years ago. Like, if he's alive already, then I don't know. Maybe Sirius was named after Sirius. I don't know. I'll watch the movies and try to figure that out. Because I don't know much about it. All right, here we go. Legendary. No safes come here. Gloves. Okay, okay. We could use a good version of the glo hands right now, so that's fine. About to level two though, so start getting 35 items would be nice. Alohomora. Another lock day. Huh. 
Okay. That's like the dock down there, I guess. The what do we have here? Another one. Alohomora. That was like a level two lock, so like that lock gets you out here, but then it's like, oh damn, a level three lock. I really like the lock, get the lock mini game in this uh, game. It's very unique, unlike other ones I've ever used. Room with a view. Oh. Professor Black, regarding your letter dated the 20th of September, I shall not reconsider the admissions process at Hogwarts. Regards, Ferris Spaven, Minister for Magic, London. Huh, not reconsider the admissions process. Oh, like, he's trying to change it, I guess. Was he trying to change it, like, not let, uh, not let me in or something? The key of admittance? Oh, that sounds fancy. I wonder what that goes to. That is quite the view. This is like the top of, uh, one of those towers. That's awesome. That's awesome. Rebellion. Yoink, I stole your key. Sounds like it's to my left up there. Alright, his office. That's so funny that... Oh wait, could it be up here? Randomly? Maybe it's down here. Revelio. Oof. Where is it? What's this stuff up here? Look, there's chests and... What's... Yeah, there's two chests. Collection chests. Is it right here? Oof. Where is that? Rebellion. And that one's taking me off. Like, what the heck? Did I miss it in here? Was it? No. That's not it. <laughs> Damn. And that whatever's up there, maybe? Like, I guess I can come back later, right? Maybe. Like, this is my only chance in his office. Well, they gotta let you come back if there's something to get, right? Maybe. Perhaps. Rebellion. What's all this? Oh, it's another note. A receipt. Hair tonic, mushroom whack, mustache wax, Bundaman pomade, comb, pearl handled, back scratcher, gold handled, doxicide, paid in very small part, reminder to be billed to ministry. Oh, paid in very small part, remainder to be billed to ministry. Interesting. That must be the pedestal. Here we go. Is this his book? Oh, it's getting good. It's gonna have oh here we go. The news is more than just reading. <laughs> One of them teleport books. Harry had a book like this. Was it the second? Where am I? Yeah, second movie. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay oh, they, attention. It took my mask off. Things time. are not always as they seem. Oh, neat. You must move oh, badass. and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The wow. first you will need is a cloak. Cloak. Make your way through 
town without being seen. What's over here? This is so cool. It's like pencil land. Well, I can't use my spells. Hopefully they pop up here. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. So how am I not to be seen if I can't go invisible? Huh. Whoa! Hello, death. Go. I guess I won't be seen by that guy. Death's shadow. Oh look, it auto cast for me, that's good. No no revelio, no nothing, huh? This is fucking awesome. I love this fucking pencil stuff. How cool is that? How cool is that? Saw me, maybe. I should have run when I could. I can free by now. Holy cow. Man, that's nuts. That's so Best cool. move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. Shoot. What are these fellas doing? I need to time this just right. Yoink. I see a staircase straight ahead. You do? I don't see it yet. Maybe I just went down it? No. Did he say that too late? Okay, what's going on with these guys? Gotta wait again. <laughs> That's fucking crazy cool. Yeah, I can sprint. Oh, I wonder if that's because my talents. Like, if I didn't have the talent to sprint, would I be able to? I wonder. Gulp. Hide, you fool. Hmm. Are there any hidden stuff in here? <laughs> to find me if I go up there. That's a good idea. Let's climb the ladder. Eek. What is that? Oh god. Oh jeez. This is fucking awesome. Another picture. Lots of pictures for the Steam album. Anything super secret up here? Oh, no. We're not gonna let you. They're gone. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? It's pronounced Neve? Hey, is that you? No. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. What 
what I'm doing, climbing? Oh, jeez. That's where I need to go, but I need oh, to yeah. find a way past them. I'll just keep on sneaking. Oh, wait, they're looking kind of this way. Hmm. It, turn around. There we go. I think I snuck the right way because I was behind the, both of them that way. Oh, hello, Nothing this way. hello Mr. Death. There must be another way to find you. Uh, I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh, it's open. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Oh. Got four health potions. So. What's all this here, though? Nope. No depulso. To make that clear? Let's see. No. Let's see. What's he doing? Okay. Uh. So what's their patterns here? What the heck's going on? So he's turning around. How's my chance? Go faster, he won't. I can't sprint anymore. Shit. Let's see if I can inch by here. Come on. Okay. Easy enough, right? That's the way forward. Ooh, shiny. Super shiny. Mysterious club. Oh, nice. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. It's a visibility cloak. Nice. What do I have to do here, though? Go back? I'm actually going around. I'm confused now. Yeah, I got has to be to go around because there's nothing to walk that way. Yeah. But what about this way? There's tons of people out here, though. Just checking if there's any kind of secret thing. Wait. Oh, maybe I can't get this way anyway. Wait a minute. Maybe I have to go this way. There's no way though, not not between these guys. Um interesting. Wait, if I'm invisible, maybe I can. Testing, testing. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. Can I pick their pockets? Yo, this cloak's awesome. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Leaf? Hey, is that the trial? <laughs> no, there's gotta be more. <clears throat> We're in the Matrix. You have had one death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Who are we gonna fight? Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Oh. Wow. Whose wand is this? 
That'd be awesome if I got like overpowered spells right now. I've never felt such power. How OP am I? Oh, look, everything's locked. That's good stuff. That's good stuff right here. I'm liking this game. <laughs> more and more every time I get farther in it. This is a really cool freaking. Oh, I only have one spell set. I don't have any other spells. So we got Bombardment, Defendo, or whatever, the Slicer, and uh, we got. Uh, Descendo, and we got Depulso. Depulso! Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> We're gonna be able to fight like this? This is cool. Hey, chicken. Hey, sheep. Amazing. You know me, I gotta check every corner. Every nook and cranny. Depulso. Oh no! <laughs> What's this? Hmm. So they're giving you health potions. So you can go around and find some health potions. That's cool if you need them. Pro tip. Badass. You know, this is a great trial. Man, these guys who made this game did a great job. so powerful it's like one two three four <laughs> let me get him i know it's not as exciting but 24 hit combo there's a there's a 100 hit combo achievement so there's there must be some pretty big fights in this game if you can manage to stack up that many hits because everything will die before you uh, get that many hits. I think hard mode is needed to help with that, probably. So the enemies have more health and stuff. Now that Rebellion. I think about it. Brilliant. We got a potion right here. Yay. 
I only needed one. <laughs> yeah, another cool thing these devs did is they reward you for going out of your way to search and explore every nook and cranny because a lot of games I do that and there's nothing to be had. There's no, there's nothing hidden. It's just uh, empty space. But here there's like chests behind bushes. There's all kinds of stuff to find. They have potions all around the place here for people who take the time to look outside of the path. Troll boy. Smash him once. Oh, nice. Oh, man, you gotta be long dead. I don't have Flipendo to finish him. <laughs> oh, nice. Let's hit 35 right now. I get to fight this guy. Oh yeah, no more ads. Nice. Work of these fools. So, where is she at? <clears throat> Maybe I should play on hard mode because everything does die really quick. <laughs> Say that, and then I go to hard mode. It's, I could get myself destroyed, and then I won't have fun. This game's been totally fun so far. Oh no! I like Pencil Land. I don't want to leave. A simple stone. This must be for me. It's the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing, Nothing is what it seems. Is what it seems. So I'm holding a stone. I don't have spells anymore. <laughs> She's gone. Neve's oh. dead. Oh. Oh no. Oh poor Neve. Gone so young. Oh. Dear sweet Neve. Dead. Let us always honor her memory. Oops. <laughs> Neve. What? Oh, poor Neve. Gone so young. Let us always honor her memory. We won't be the same without her. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. Hey, Mr. Death. Snap, snap, snap. <laughs> Interesting. It froze me. You found me. But you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self.
But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Okay. Remember that as you witness my memory. Okay. <laughs> is there such thing as too many screenshots? Oh, this is the end. Here's the pensive already. Hurrah! More of the story. Here we go. What you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. And saw again. what I did for my father. Oh, Nia, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. In. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. I wonder what pain she took out, out of uh, Neve. Or Neve. What a weird... They, it sounds like they're saying V. But it's not spelled like that at all. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Third trail com trial complete. That was great. Rebellion. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. We'll play again. What's up, guys? <clears throat> Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. 
It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, <clears throat> Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. <laughs> Abaddon. The Hollowed Hero. Is that probably because I completed the quests? Come on, level me. Let's see if this big quest gives me enough to level, because right at the top of the level, come on. Oh, it's like right at the tippy top, like the tippy tippy top. What? I saw it push up there. Oh, I didn't check if I could use these in there. I don't think I could. I shouldn't have reacted hey. so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. <clears throat> All right, Sebastian. Professor Weasley, what? Okay, that bug's still there. Now, she better be in here still. Let me... Weasley. Shit, where is she? There she is. Shared with you his experience with the Phoenix. Oh, here we go. Deke tells me. Please check in with him when you get a chance. He has an idea for you that. Oh, fuck yeah. Maybe we're gonna get the Phoenix and or the other Graphorn. Yeah, Deke quest. That means fourth Vivarium is coming. How exciting. It's time to sell, too. We got 25 slots taken up. I'm gonna take a quick break here as well. Badass. That, that was awesome. Awesome, awesome quest.
All right. Let's see here. It's a bunch of garbage. Amazing. Simply amazing. <sighs> Let's see here. Oh yeah, I haven't used my broom since I got the upgrade still. <laughs> Alright, so we got a deek quest. We've got uh Wait We got some key now, what is this? A key engraved the symbols of book and quill. Was I supposed to open something else up there, you think? Because there seemed to be a room still where there was uh, stuff. In the shadow of the mountain, me Sebastian along the coast. Requires Bombarda. Okay. Phoenix rising. Here we go. Speak with Deke. Yeah, that's the quest. Go get us a phoenix. Deke has some exciting news to share. Oh, nice. Two upgrades. Da, da. Okay, which one was upgrade? It wasn't the gloves. Ah, the mask? I'm about to ding too, so I'll go ahead and upgrade this. <clears throat> the ceramic mask. Was it the scarf that's up? Yeah, 96 for snowy owl scarf. 34. Also, it's like plus 3. <laughs> nice. Squeezing up that offense as much as we can. It's a tie ball game here. Quidditch robe. And then here's just uh, 89. Well, 34 with 89. Eesh, why do they roll so low? Like a higher level, it's so odd. One phoenix feather, all right. <laughs> all right. I wonder, let's see here. Ambush three. I wonder how hard I'll hit with stuff like out of stealth. Like, would it be better than this, I wonder? Better than concentration. Usually it is, when you're coming out of stealth, but... Let's ambush one, we can make an ambush three. So all spells, all spells, all spells, disillusionment. Cabbages. All plants. Let's 
try t two fangs three. With an ambush. And then three all spells. <clears throat> huh, interesting. Okay, let's try that out. Oh yeah, and the trait here will make it set replacing the mask. It's gonna be Chinese chomping cabbage. <laughs> Oops. Huh. Oh, I see. I can only legendary and superb and extraordinary. Okay. of things I have going on here, but it could be fun. It might be fun. Alright, let's make sure I got my, uh, everything's full still, so we're good to go. Deke has some exciting news to share. Awesome. Let me get the breeding pen stuff going again. Alright. Everything's alright now. Okay. Yo, what's up, guys? Are they coming for me? I wonder if they ever come over here by themselves. I don't don't seem to. Oh, there's no special ones. get us a phoenix. That would be amazing. Hey, buds. How you doing? Oh, you guys. Ugh. I swear. Side of Feldcroft as soon as you can. Well, he's got two different quests at the same time for me. I think. Yeah. Is that everybody? Is everybody here? <laughs> yeah, everyone's here that's not breeding. That's quick. Okay, got it. We got it. I'm gonna do that deep quest right after I take care of all, all of the breeding pens. So we got two more vivariums to go. So can we breed the offspring? I thought I saw somebody doing that. Uh, oh, it doesn't let you change, no. So I guess you can't. Oh, whoops, what happened here?
What's going on here? Did I lose one? Oh, that's right here. Ah, yes. So we got another. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Rare babby. How long does it take for them to grow up, I wonder? Like, or, or do they? Like, they should. I don't know. Hey, old Pilfer. Mr. Pilfer. quick to do this like I guess I should be doing it every time I come by and not be lazy so I'm not running out of these materials anytime soon though so oh I didn't start that last one uh, yeah all right and now for the last one give them a ball to play with Oh jeez! Make them all make them all deaf first, I guess. I like the music in here the best. I think it's pretty good. And I don't need to go. I don't really care about the mandrake. Mandrakes are blue. Or maybe they'd be awesome, like, because when they tick, they do have ticking damage, so maybe if you made it, like, tick really crazy. Oh crap, did I never restart these guys last time? I guess I did not. Money, money, money. All right, fellas. Let's do this. Are there any others over here? Hey, Neasles. I gotta get you a uh, boyfriend. Got him already. It was quick. Oh wait, I still need this one. I won but that one. Alright. Oops. Sorry guys. I meant to hit R1, not L1. Alrighty, there we go. Took care of them. We got more three more eggs. So I'll have three more babbies and three, thir 30 minutes, 30 minutes, yep, yep, yep. All right, we've tended to the animals. <laughs> now it's time to put our stuff back on our thinger. If I need the lumen, whatever, I'll put it back. I could probably get rid of one of these, but mm, I just I kind of use them all. And also, it's good to be ready for uh, the. Deke has some exciting news to share. The challenge feats when they come up. Check my inventory space. Oh, I can vendor. But let's see what he has to say first, because I don't have to start it right away.
Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. Yo. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned. The one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well. Which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. I'll put him in that fourth vivarium. Rising, Phoenix rising. Search for the cave. Sebastian and Anne together. How oh, neat. So I have a quest, a side quest, or a relationship quest with him and Anne, and then I have him going in trying to do that. I wonder why. Like, what if I did this first and then this? Because, like, that's very weird to have them both at the same time. Like, why would I have her, her in a quest already if he doesn't have the thing to give to her? Find Twiddle's mysterious statue. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I talked to her yesterday. I gotta do that eventually. Uh, Henrietta's map to find the treasure. Yeah, I didn't find that one yet either. Find the Ebtconder's cave. Get gold and some more wand handles. This is for the broom. Yeah, let's get ourselves that phoenix. How about it? Hey, new spot. Nice. Very nice. Alright. That's pretty cool. Fly to some new spot. Poitier Castle. That's the closest I have, I guess. I'm surprised I have that. How'd I get that out there? I was obviously there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So we're at Poitier, Poitier Coast. I haven't been anywhere else yet. Look at all this stuff. Wow. Damn. Oh, landing platforms are there. Oh, cool. You can see everything from that. So how am I doing up here, then? Like... Oh, cool. Still a landing platform to get. I got three or four there. Two of three here. So there's one and two to get. Just gotta get the one that's here. Oh, wow. Okay, I never zoomed out and looked at all this. Like... Oh, they have enemy levels, too. 20 to 40. Oh, well, they range big time. So what are the levels down here, then? We got 20 to 40. I wonder if they get crazier. Like 25, 25, 40. 30 to 40s. That's a high zone right there, Clagmar. Maybe that's some good XP over there. Just start grinding everybody. Killing them. Killing them mobs. Huh. Alright then. What is this? Huh. So I gotta straight just fly over there, I guess. Okay. I'll get her close and then see if I can fly. Some places it didn't want me to fly. It was like, uh blocking me off, but it's mainly up in the mountains, I guess. Or it might be just the end of the map. When that happens, I guess. <laughs> to teach someone a lesson. Oh. oh. I'm surrounded. By jerks. Oh, 
I don't get XP for killing. What? I thought you get at least a little XP killing him. What's going on here? Someone's going to regret Oh, oh crap, why did it do that? So, looks like yellow to me. Careful now. Oh. Slow poacher after they release their glass. Oh, yeah, I, got, I wasn't paying attention again. To the feet. Oh, yeah, if I got a. Who do you think you are? Protego! Oh. <laughs> Duh. Oh. Trouble's brewing and I'm without my friends. I didn't realize... I never paid attention, I guess, that you can't just grind experience. <laughs> I wish you could. I could have sworn I got some XP for killing stuff before, like... Huh. Revelio. Apparently I was here before, but... I didn't loot everything. Ooh, my new fast broom. Alright. Well. Let's go to our quest. Because if I don't get... Any special, like, XP or anything, I might as well not just grind stuff. Except to practice, I guess. But practice some... Sweet skills. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a, it looked like a magic place. That's why I kind of started coming this way. Oh, okay, we gotta unlock it. I hear a kitty. Yeah, I heard that purr. Hey, kitties. There's two of you at least. You're gonna get pet. You can't stop me. Get some ancient magic pets. Nice. Those are good. The good stuff. Yeah. Wait, is that a third? Hey, bud. Nice. That's exactly what I needed before I go in here. One, two, and three. There they all go. Okay. Level one. Hello, Hamora. I'm hungry. I hope dinner's soon. I'm gonna eat it today. I skipped dinner yesterday. I just wanted to play this game and then I went to sleep. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Alright. Okay. Okie dokie. Big money monies. 
Oh, I got a. Is there a box to move? Rebellion. There she is. There's the box now. Accio. Ingardium Leviosa. One of the essences are behind it. Traces. Let's go grab that. Come on that. Come on now. It's above the toilet. Sheesh. I just have to drop down from there. Or something. Confringo! Confringo! Underneath us, there's one. Oh, can I drop down from here? No. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe I have to go around here. Duck. There we go. Those new voice command controls. Climb ladder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Loot that bag. to check a toilet. Okay, so that looks there and then there maybe is where I drop down. I think that's it. Alright. Shoot. I'm not sure. Let's just test it. Crap. What gets over there? Oh, it's a there's a rock wall there. That. Got a number of them before the challenge on this one. I don't remember how many I'll tell us up here, I think. Hey, there's 35. Got our talent point for the explosion. Transformation Mastery, I believe it's called. Let's check it out. Transformation Mastery. Definitely gonna use that before they fix it. I watched a video on how broken this is earlier today and uh, it seems quite broken broken in a very overpowered way <laughs> so with the mixer of this and some dark arts like blood curse and a lot of the stuff like uh, anything that because uh, cursed enemies uh, inflicts or dealing damage, curse target, flick damage to all curse targets. Uh, so I gotta curse them up. I gotta like confre the the strats to uh, Crucio, and then since we have the improved Crucio thing that spreads it, Crucio mastery, striking an enemy cursed by Crucio releases projectile that curses nearby enemy. So you keep spamming on them, and they keep shooting out curses at everyone around them get everybody cursed and then you transform one into an explosive barrel and when that barrel explodes it actually sees it as the enemy the cursed enemy taking damage so they all take that explosion damage and it pretty much one shots everybody so they're probably gonna nerf it to make it not do as much damage so it doesn't one shot everything because it's like casting an AoE death curse apparently from what I heard or from what they say in the video actually so um, I should probably go sell before I actually start this next thing. Was it a scarf, I think, that, uh, I gotta do next? It's like 101 scarf, or something like that. Lies, it wasn't a scarf. Was it a robe? Nope. Hmm. So 
It must have been an outfit. What? I thought I had a 35 item. Fucking, what am I so confused about? What the hell? There it is. That's what I was looking for. 101. Face mask, of course. <laughs> oh, I'm losing my duck face. I can always put it back on. So, we're almost at 400 offense. 400 offense. It's offensive. It's so good of an offense. I'm offended that they spelled it with a C. And defense with a C. Like, what the hell? Go to school, Brits. Before we go on this adventure, we are going to sell. <clears throat> I should go to Iron, actually. That's where I'm gonna go. Irondale, or what is it? Irondale? Iron something. What happened here? Shoot. What are you up to now? to a different city. Irondale, yep. That's the one. With the good stuff. There should be a phoenix, and it's been long, a little bit of time, so I think they'll be back again. I need to keep my stock up on those so I can keep upgrading the gear three times. <clears throat> I'm about to get a phoenix. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be flush with uh, phoenix feathers soon enough. But until then. Sheesh. Hello. You as well. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Dun da da da, yes. Thank you for your patronage. I'll be saving some gold when I do that. But I can also make a lot of gold. So. Nice. We got a number of legendaries here. It's 200 a pop. We're going to get some good cash here. monies. Thank you, sir. For all your cash monies. Glad you were able to stop by. <clears throat> I'm glad he had some good inventory. Man, I'd love to know what broke my fucking controller. It's like, is it a Steam update that broke it, or is it uh, the Windows update that happened this morning? I assume it's a Windows update because the PC restarted. I, just, I didn't do it. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> huh.
Are these jobber? What are they? Oh, they're mooncasts or whatever. How sweet. How sweet is that? <clears throat> oh, I already put it back. Now let's go. Go to where I need to go. Freaking mage is trying to come after me. Oh, jeez. Right, now I heard a troll, too. <laughs> oh, what? What do I hear? What is that madness happening? Is that from that town over there? Enter the Phoenix Mountain Cave. That's what we're here to do, Phoenix Mountain Cave. Let's go. <clears throat> Phoenix rising. It begins. A blockade. Rookwood's poachers are already here. Shit. Default. I'm gonna kill every single one of them with an unforgivable curse. Because I want to cause pain to them. It's all about the lore. <laughs> what do we have here? Is this like a... A rail? Some sort, or is that a video glitch? <laughs> like, I don't know, I can't tell. Looks like a rail. For a cart. Incendio. Depulsa. Brilliant. Revelio. Could the phoenix be in there? Somewhere in here. Beware of spiders. Okay. Glacius. Oh, what? Good bring us. What the? Oh, that was part of the fire thing. <clears throat> Up. Got bar to somewhere where do I got it? Bobada. <laughs> See, killing that Not enemy gave me XP. Deadly great spider. So maybe, maybe it didn't give XP either because of a bug or because I've already cleared that camp. Bombarder! Defender! Nice reps. No, I have to burn him. Expel the armors! Oh, whoops. That's not it. <laughs> Incendio! Medium ground coverings. Okay. We're gonna get a phoenix. Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. <clears throat> I imagine this is the way. There's a lot of loop de loops here. <laughs> That's it. It just kills him. Because he took the damage. They must have that explosion do like a ton of damage. If it just one-shots everything. 
with a curse on it since they're sharing damage. That's awesome. <laughs> Good bring up. One less poacher in the wizarding world. I mean, blood curse alone is just awesome. When you're doing lots of damage. I think there's a, ch a small chest area here, probably. Or it's a bag. Can't jump over there, can you? Kind of don't want to. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to. It looks like where I came from when I first came in, so. <clears throat> All right. Continue on. We're going to get ourselves a phoenix. Fucking psyched. Incendium. Oh jeez. Ugh. Those little nasty spiders. Stop that poison. What do we have here? Not much. Like 60 gold, 90 gold, I think. <laughs> Rebellion. What the heck? Who, who would build that? It's like a piece of a castle or something inside of here. More poachers. How many are there? Should I jump over there or should I just go in that way? <laughs> to the tavern. Oh yeah, I get to transform her back. I gotta wait for transform to come back up. Let's torture her first. A gate key. The beasts are safer now. I got me a gate key. Now, I'm starting to worry that I should have. I got a key in Black's office that I didn't use anywhere. But I wonder if the place to use it was somewhere around his office. I opened a bunch of locks and stuff, but maybe I still missed something. Wait, this is like a phoenix. Whoa! Is he coming for me? Does he know I'm here to help? They're very smart birds, I think. In the movie, they're really smart. Like it almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. Sweet. Oh, I saw the phoenix. Yeah, I've only seen the second, first two movies, so. I did see the phoenix in the second movie. Uh, oh yeah, I killed him. Wait. Petrificus totalis. Oh, that's a weird bug. <clears throat> he was like dying, but I could still cast. Like while he was in the dying animation or whatever, I could cast the. Uh, 
petrify. Level three Hello, lock, you say? No problem. I feel like I almost did not make that. Where's this? This is like some kind of exit. I feel like I'm going to the peak of the mountain. There it is again. Oh, shortcut. Maybe. <laughs> I don't see him. Where was he? <laughs> I heard that dialogue and I heard the noise, but I didn't see my buddy. Okay. Okay. Wait, what's this all about? Is that not really? No, nope, won't let me. Okay, just got a little, little water here. Okay, so we're going to be coming back for this ladder. Let's see what's in here. <clears throat> Probably another chest with another vendor piece in it. But I need vendor pieces to sell, so that's good. Oh, never mind. It was just some whore clumps. All right, all right. Interesting. Thanks for the whore clumps. Revelio. Looks like the stream's doing pretty good. I'm looking over there. Uh, been live just over three hours now, but about 1,700 frames dropped. That's only 0.3%. 0.3% of the stream's frames have dropped, so it's been doing really good. Last, time, last couple times I checked, it was zero, so must have had a bad spell somewhere. Just a quick hiccup. Spit webs. Kablooey. Eight legs is simply too many. What was up there? Something was up there. I thought I saw like the outline. Oof. <clears throat> Revelio. Okay. Okay. to go.
Phoenix. This guy's just... Oh, he didn't have health for a second. Days are over. Hell yeah. Revelio. You tell him. spot where's that phoenix revelio is this where i came from i think it was maybe not uh oh yeah that is i think that's where i was jumping over stuff i came here and we fought blah 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 so let's go oh yeah this is the way Depulsa. Brilliant. Is there anything in there? No, oh, that's right. <laughs> Phoenix friend, where are you? It's like a Looks like a little phoenix spot. Have I reached the peak of the mountain? Maybe I did. Brilliant. Hello. Collection updated. Hey, phoenix. Help. Yes. I can take you New beast inventory thing. slots unlocked. Yeah, yeah. Is that ten more? Is that what that means? Uh... Is he gonna let me capture him? Oh yeah, it says knapsack. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get him. Rescue Phoenix with knapsack sack thing. Okay, okay. <clears throat> you think he'll just let me? Like, do I need to stun him first? Seems or? happy to come with me. I wonder if it could travel in the knapsack. Yeah, not even a game. He's ready to go. Let's get you back to the room. Deke's nice. going to be pleased. Hell yeah, we got a phoenix. Phoenix feathers for days. Now, I think there's only one phoenix. So, but they're born again from their ashes, so. According to the, what happened in the movie when I saw it, they have like a burning day. And they just, they die and then, turn into a pile of ashes and then uh, they're reborn from their pile of ashes. So I don't know if I can breed these guys or not. There's only one of them. I should investigate. All right. Oh, that's it. Oh, look, it's that thing. I wonder how we bury their head in the ground. Um, oh, 
crap. Crap, that's not it. Let's put our uh, curse back on here. Curse. They just all die. Cast fiends. Wow, they die before the barrel even explodes. It's like when I pick it up, they all die. <laughs> what the heck? That's like an exploit, actually. <laughs> that, that doesn't even feel like uh, a good strategy or anything. That's just like, they just die. They didn't have to wait for the explosion. I just Accio'd and you took so much damage. They all just died, I guess? Like... Incendio. Rebellion. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, spider fangs. What keeps burning? Is my fire like causing a forest fire? It just keeps on going, burning all the webs. That's pretty cool. It spread up quite quite a ways. <clears throat> I've seen these before. Hey man, what are y'all doing? What? Oh, this would be tough. I need to go all the way. Hopefully, it gets it open and stops. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Just an empty. It's just a box. It's usually, well, yeah, I guess sometimes there's enemies. Oh, chess. Kind of. Is it like in the movie, the wizard chest? A wizard, wizard chest? <clears throat> Let's see. What do I have here? Oh, an empty coffin. Yikes. Rebellion. Can't move the pieces, it doesn't seem. <laughs> Huh. That's weird. He's made of something different. Sounds totally different. Huh. There's something about this place that I don't know. It's gotta be. Did the... The icon's still there for the treasure vault. Oh, very interesting. Well, that's interesting. An interactive pot that doesn't seem to break. Intriguing. Quite intriguing. That's what Harry Pooter would say. Grab this. Huh? What just happened? Oh. What? This looks intriguing. Ha <laughs> ha! I said it first. So one of these must be uh, something. Oops. Okay. Wait, is that light? Can that be fired up? Incendio. Confringo. No. What the? Yeah. 
What's the magic puzzle here, hmm? Perhaps I put this fire out. And those two? That'd be something to do to make a, ch uh, a chest spawn or something. That's why I'll, I had one work like that before. What if... Is there like a pattern here? Like, uh... Let's see, this is... Will this be a knight? No, these would be knights. And the horses. <clears throat> these are pawns. These little guys. They must be. There's... Okay. So that's king. This is, must be queen then. And they're king. I should investigate. I oh, am. Yeah, I am investigating. Now, the horse will go up here and move here. So, can the the queen can't move like the horse, right? Because if so, she's got him in check. Something. There's got to be something with this game. I think the queen could do everything except for what the knight does. So it doesn't mean that... So there wouldn't be a check here. Huh. If he moves here... He's still good, I think. But if he went here, the knight could get him. Um. Huh. One be. Wait. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. You think so? I have no idea about this one. I'll, I'll come back to it because I got dinner coming up. I want to go back with the Phoenix. We'll have to come back. Humph. Get our fourth vivarium, we must, I imagine. Did you find the phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to...
What a beauty. You keep it close. We've got the Phoenix. Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words, and a also major grateful to have been of assistance to someone no, like I'm not going to be here. Helping you do such good for so many beasts cheat. Man, I don't fucking cheat. Deke a sense of peace. I'm like 80 at no about 75 years. hours in. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. Yeah, I've been streaming a little bit now. <laughs> like, I I had a break between the, this morning stream though. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you All oh, right. So where's this new place at? Uh. Oh, up there. Holy crap. They opened up this huge spot here. This is the... I'm toward the end of the story, I think. How you doing today? I just now noticed the chat. Sorry about that. <laughs> Ugh. Whoa. F -f 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 Phoenix. Wow, it's a phoenix. Got a little bit, a lot of babies I gotta sell. I've been breeding these, these fuckers, these fucking fuckers. But this is my fourth one, so it's empty right now, except for the phoenix I just rescued. F -f -f phoenix, bum bum bum. Hey, phoenix friend. All right, let's uh, let's play like uh, let's take care of our animals. Brusha, brusha. Oh, yeah. He likes it. <laughs> All right. All right. Phoenix feathers. Times three. Nice. I'm going to be set. Good little Phoenix. Do you like this place, Phoenix, or do you want to go to the other places? So we got a male Phoenix. Can I get like a female Phoenix somehow? I wonder. I don't think we can. Like, maybe there's a DLC <laughs> that'll have it. But uh, when I was reading about this stuff, I think... I was trying not to pay too much attention to crap that I've seen. With some of it, uh... I think you only get the Phoenix from the quest I just did, and that's it. You get the rare... Phoenix. I wonder who the Phoenix likes to hang out with. Like, uh... I could put some others in here, like... Maybe some baby unicorns. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe some foopers. Put some more birds in here with them. Maybe some, uh, what's this music? It's like Irish music or something. Are there cheats for this game? I, I don't even know. But like giant purple toad. I don't know. Some spot for my my hippogriffs. And I'll I'll breed them.
Oh, cool. What kind of uh, what kind of cheats they got? Can you like just unlock everything? It's a really good game. You uh, you should give it. You should give it a good, like a fair play. I recommend. But if you have fun with the cheats, I mean, go for it. That's cool too. <laughs> That's cool too. You should do whatever you want. But uh, I had I've been having a blast with it, just working through it. Fucking OP. Like I don't want it to stop. I don't ever I don't ever play games to the end. Like there's been very few. Like Final Fantasy 15, The Last of Us, uh, the new God of War, the first one. I haven't beat the second one yet, but I played maybe the beginning of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did you just, did you leave? Oh shit. Dang it, buddy. God dang it, buddy. And I'm about to have dinner here real soon, so I'll be taking the stream down for the dinners. But I've been on for hours. Oh. The Phoenix okay with his these other aminals in here? I sure hope so. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Nurtured, nurtured, nurtured. Everyone's good. Do we need some nifflers in here? We got nifflers over there. Put a unicorn in here because they're pretty special. I have unicorns in the other one too, but maybe I'll put the baby unicorns here for the phoenix to watch over. That probably makes sense. There you go. You got a little horn? Yeah, you got a little unicorn horn. <laughs> yeah, you should play. You should play it, dude. It's great. It's freaking great. Yeah, I'm not getting off quite yet. Like, whenever I, uh, they yell at me that dinner's ready, I'll be going down. I can smell it, though. It smells good. Whatever it is. Look at that phoenix, man. The phoenix. Hey, buddy. Wow. Yeah, so I, w I went and watched the first two movies now because this made me want to watch them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. May 12th, man. Tears of the Kingdom. Or something like that. I think that's what it's called. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy, excited about that one. Breath of the Wild is another one that I finished. So there's a handful of games. Only a small handful of games that I've done. Uh, play, actually played through. Hopefully, Zelda is going to be one I can play through. Hopefully, I'm in that good, uh, good spirits to be able to play it. Sometimes I get really bummed out and I can't fin I can't play games for a while, but I'm really happy that this one I'm able to play through. It's pretty decent. Like I said, like I I was not a fan of Harry Potter. I haven't seen any of the movies before this game, and this movie made <laughs> this game game made me want to check out more of the lore. <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah, I gotta put down some uh, feeders and stuff. Breeding pens. So we can make some more cash monies. Selling them babbies. Keeping the cute ones. Selling everybody else. Okay, I need some baby making places here. The baby making pens. Occupied by what? There we go. Is that where I want these? I guess so. Is that too far over? Oh, yeah? What, not, you didn't finish what Breath of the Wild you mean? Or which one? But yeah, life gets in the way. 
damn life. I wish, uh, we all had just time to play. <laughs> do what we need. Or do what we want. Let's see. Crap. Crap. Crapola. Oh, there we go. Alright. We did it. Bye, Scott. We've done it. Do I got ground? Wow. Pumpkin patch. Wow. Alright. Look at that. Amazing. <laughs> Which game did you not finish, she said. For, uh... Oh, Harry Potter, you mean? It just came out. You got plenty of time. There's no rush. If you talk about Harry Potter's... Harry Potter's? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm watching them for the first time, basically, so... I've watched the first two, so I'm gonna watch the third one, probably... Kind of today, I kind of feel like I didn't watch one yesterday, so. Oh, I can only make Hippogriff here. No. Hippogriff baby time. So we don't have... Female, female. Oh. These are both females. The toads are so ugly, I hate them. And you collect their warts, it's like... <laughs> it's like nasty. Some nasty warts. Mooncalf offspring. Niffler offspring. Wait, these are all males. Where's the female? Crap. Female, female, male. Yeah. Yeah, I put tons of shit into. I did like all the updates of all the gear, like at the fairy fountains, you know? And, uh. I did everything except for the Koroks. Like, I did 400 some Koroks. I didn't do all 900 something or whatever it was. But I, I did enough and a little more that, uh. I had all my inventories expanded. But yeah, that's worth it. It's worth overkill. It's like that game's great. I understand. Really, yeah. It's been so long. I've been waiting for uh, for that game. Man, it's gonna come out in May. Like, I, hopefully, I'm not getting surgery. But because let me get surgery on my hands and wrists and stuff, so I'll be wrapped up in a bandage. And hopefully, I won't be able to. I'll be healed up by then. If I have the surgery before then, maybe it'll still be after. But we were planning on going up to the Cleveland Clinic, like, around springtime when there's, there's, like, no bad weather. So we can drive up there better. My dad doesn't like driving in the shit weather that might be up in Cleveland in the wintertime. Oh, really? It's not bad. It's not bad. They put you to sleep, man. You wake up like, oh. Don't be scared. Yeah. Well, that's great. That, that's great. You're getting work, man. You're gonna get all that infection out. They're gonna. They'll give you some gas or something. You'll probably be awake for it, but you, you won't feel a thing. When they they yanked out all my teeth and shit and had the surgery in there, like uh, I had the nitrous, and then first they inject like the thing that numbs it, and they numbed it up real good. That's the worst part, honestly, getting that needle in your mouth. But then it's over. It's like real quick. But they stick a fucking needle right in the top of your mouth. Like, you'll be awake, but ask for nitrous. Yeah, because you're going to a dental surgeon. Like, they, um, is how you, you do that usually. The guys who rip the teeth out. Or an oral surgeon is what they call them. Yeah. Do they have to cut like on the outside or just inside? Cause they cut they cut up too for me like they and they were ripping out teeth like I could hear them crack like but I had like a bunch of nitrous on me so I was like oh like kind of in a day they're really cheap though don't let them 
be cheap with the nitrous. Like, I'm gonna say shit if I ever have to do that again, like... They turned that thing barely- barely turned it on. I was like sucking on it trying to get all the nitrous I could. Like... <laughs> they were like, suck on that nitrous. I'm like... <laughs> I was like, damn it. I still hardly felt it. That was shitty. Those bastards. Those bastards. Oh, hey, dinner's ready. I'm gonna go eat some dinner, buddy. But good talking with you. Hey, you're gonna be so proud or so happy, I mean, that you got that done. Um, because it's so much better after, after it's done and it heals and stuff. It's, it's gonna be great. So worth it. Except for now that I have like less teeth, like I have to learn how to chew differently on, so I can actually hit the teeth. But that was it. Yeah, you have a good one too, man. I'll, I might be around a little later. Um, but I might watch a movie and go to sleep. I don't know. Because I have a weird schedule right now. But I did get up early morning this morning, like 6 o'clock or something. Because I slept the end of the day yesterday. But peace, brother. Good seeing you again. I'm in a good spot here. Play the heck out of this game. Got 82% of challenges. We're working on it. Hit 35 today. Some okay progress. Well being. Defense instruments, how will you block and defend? Oh, I never did read these. Take it. I'll be right there. <clears throat> Let's see here. Save. Uh, there we go. I've wrought that one. Just in case I have to go back and mess something up, I always make new saves there. All right. Excellent. Alright, peace. Goodbye, YouTube land. Peace, Major. Good to see you again.